In a socio-cultural context, a woman is an individual who identifies with the female gender, often aligning with the traditional role in a binary gender system. This includes behaviors, expectations, roles, and activities typically associated with femininity within certain cultures or societies. This includes personal identification, societal roles, fashion choices, and behavior norms, among other factors. However, the concept of what it means to be a woman has significantly expanded in recent times. It recognizes that gender identity is fluid and not strictly tied to biological sex, encompassing transgender women, those who identify as genderqueer, non-binary, or gender fluid, and self-identify as women. Some societies recognize more than two genders, and there are various ways that individuals might embody their identity as woman. As such, Women's experiences and identities are diverse and heterogeneous, influenced by factors such as culture, race, religion, socioeconomic status, and personal experiences. Ultimately, being a woman is a deeply personal identity, unique and self-defined. Sissy hypno, often referring to hypnosis or meditation tracks aimed at inducing a state of feminization, falls into two main categories. There are audios intended to support transgender meditation and others which are part of pornographic indulgence, the latter typically involving forced feminization fantasies. Feminization hypnosis, or transgender meditation, is often used by individuals exploring their gender identity, particularly those who identify as transgender or non-binary. These audios typically guide the listener through a serene meditation that fosters self-acceptance, confidence, and visualization of their desired gender expression. Hypnosis is used as a technique to connect deeply with one's subconscious mind, allowing the listener to build an internal image of their identity that aligns with their unique sense of self. It is essential to note, many people in the transgender community find comfort, acceptance, peace, and expression through these methods of meditation. The second category of Sissy Hypno audios belongs to a niche genre of adult content one that utilizes hypnosis and suggestion techniques to facilitate BDSM and sissification fantasies. These often include explicit content and are not designed to aid in genuine gender exploration, but are rather part of an erotic roleplay or fetish scenario. As with any content consumed, discretion and understanding the purpose behind the material are essential to its constructive use. For those genuinely exploring their gender identity or seeking support for their transgender journey, professional guidance from mental health professionals, support communities, and medical experts is highly recommended beyond relying solely on these audios. It is essential to note there is a difference between gender dysphoria and transgender fetishism. Gender dysphoria and transgender fetishism are two vastly different aspects related to gender and sexuality, each with distinct characteristics and impacts on individuals. Gender dysphoria is a recognized psychological condition in which a person experiences discomfort and distress due to a mismatch between their biological sex and their gender identity. This means a person might be born physically male or female but they identify psychologically and emotionally as the opposite gender or sometimes as non-binary or along a gender spectrum. Gender dysphoria can onset in childhood or adolescence, but for some, it can emerge in adulthood. In many instances, individuals with gender dysphoria may choose to live in their desired gender or undergo hormone therapy or surgery to further align their physical appearance with their gender identity, a process commonly known as transitioning. They are not obsessed with being another gender, 
It is simply about a deep-rooted feeling of being born in the wrong body and wanting to live true to their actual gender identity. On the other hand, transgender fetishism, also referred to as transvestic fetishism, is a sexual fetish where individuals derive erotic pleasure or arousal from dressing as the opposite gender, observing others do the same, or from fantasies about transgender individuals. Unlike gender dysphoria, this fetish is not about the individual's identity per se. Often, those individuals don't desire to live as their opposite gender or change their bodies permanently. It is more about sexual gratification. A crucial point is that fetishism, if consensual and not causing harm, is an aspect of sexuality, not a disorder or a problem. However, there are societal responsibilities to respect and approach transgender individuals without reducing them to fetishistic objects, respecting their identities and human rights rather than objectifying them for sexual pleasure. The major differences between gender dysphoria and transgender fetishism is that the former represents a deep-seated identification with a gender different from one's biological sex, often leading to steps to align their physical appearance to their gender identity. On the contrary, the latter often has more to do with sexual gratification and does not necessarily involve any desire for permanent physical or identity transformation. 